Welcome to Electron Line. So far we have learned how to convert from rational exponents to radicals, but can we go back from radicals to rational exponents? Well, let's give it a try. Here are some examples of how to do that. Well, first of all, a simplistic example like this, remember that this is going to be written as x to some exponent that is in a fractional format, that's why we call it a rational exponent, and notice that the root goes into the denominator and the power goes into the numerator, so the 4 needs to go here and the 3 needs to go there, so this becomes x to the 3 over 4 power. So that's how we go back and forth between rational exponents and radicals. Now things can get a little bit more complicated, like our next example. So what we're going to do first is change the numerator and the denominator independently. So the numerator becomes, that's the root, that goes in the denominator, that's the power. So we have a to the 5 over 3 power divided by, that's the root, that's the power, a to the 3 over 2 power. And now we use our usual rules. We have the bases the same, we're dividing, that means we're going to subtract exponents. So this can be written as a to the 5 over 3 minus 3 over 2 power. And then you realize the denominators are not the same. We need a common denominator, in this case that would be 6. So this can be written as a to the, multiply both the top and the bottom by 2, that gives us 10 over 6 minus, multiply the top and the bottom by 3, we get 9 over 6. Now we have our denominators the same, and now we can subtract the exponents. So this is equal to a to the 10 minus 9, which is 1 over 6 power, and that would be the final simplified result of that expression. Let's come over here. Now that looks kind of odd, so what we're going to do is first take care of the inside. So this can be written as the cube root of what's inside, which is the square root of a, and the square root of a can be written as a to the 1 half power, because that's a conversion from a square root to a rational exponent. Now, the cube root of a, and the cube root of what's inside can be written as this. It's whatever is inside, which is a to the one-half power, and that can now be written to the one-third power, because this is the same as this. Matter of fact, I can put that inside parentheses, so nothing has changed. The only difference is that instead of writing the cube root, we write the one-third power. And now we have an exponent raised to an exponent. There we simply have to multiply exponents, so this is a to the one-half, times one-third power, so this is a to the one-sixth power, and that's the simplified result of that expression. Wow, the very same answer. It's kind of interesting, and that is how it's done.